while today's moon transit encourages you to keep to yourself and detox from potentially tense atmospheres, dear Aries, a Mercury-Pluto aspect can make it a little challenging to go that route in the first half of the day. You may end up flip-flopping between stressing and telling yourself not to stress. Any worries you've been keeping at bay about your work or responsibilities can hang heavy on you, but focusing on solvable problems can be therapeutic now. Problem areas might point you in the direction of making necessary changes, but don't put all of the pressure on yourself to get everything handled at once. While concerns can be active on your mind, you have a lot to enjoy as well, and as the day advances, it's easier to see this. Do something creative, physical, or otherwise tension relieving if possible. With the moon in Pisces today, reality isn't high on your priority list. You happily spend some of your downtime, especially in the morning hours, getting lost in daydreams, fantasies, parallel universes and other alternate realities. It's also easy to add a bit of whimsy to the day, as your creativity is off the charts. You won't like to be interrupted by the real world. There will be things, kids, a spouse, your job, chores, etc that burst your bubble from time to time today. Interruptions are annoying, but this lunation ensures that you can slip right back into your little reveries whenever you want. There's a mid-morning moon Venus square that has you feeling some type of way, but with Venus retrograde in restless Gemini, you won't be able to connect with your romantic side as much as you usually might. There will definitely be some uncomfortable moments during this transit, but don't try too hard. The more you try to force a pleasant interaction, the more likely it is to go the other way. The sensitive Pisces moon forms one last aspect, with transformative Pluto, in the mid-evening hours, right before a going void of course. You'll probably spend most of the night buried deep in your emotions, prompting people close to you to ask you if you're alright. Your answer will most likely be, I'm fine and yes, everything's okay even if that's not the truth. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be alone. Don't ignore that feeling and take space when you really need it, 